All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another AE 911 Truth News Update. And you can see right down at the bottom here that AE 911 Truth's own project due diligence volunteer Seth McVeigh has been appointed to the Structural Engineering Association's board in New Mexico. And along with that appointment, he's going to be giving two presentations uh, to that organization, one on World Trade Center 7 and one on the Twin Towers. But I'm going to bring him in here to let you tell you more about it. So, Seth, the floor is all yours. Tell our audience all about this uh, amazing development. Well, thanks for having me on, Andy. And it is a pretty cool development. Um, we've been trying to, in Project Due Diligence, which is an outreach of engineers and architects, we're trying to reach um, engineering and civic and architectural organizations um, with the truth about what happened on 9-11. And, and part of that truth is, um, you know, discussing what was going on with the NIST reports. So um, this past J July, excuse me, we, um, the Structural Engineering uh, Association of New Mexico elects a new board every year. And so one of my close colleagues who I work with at my full-time job, um, she asked me if I wanted to join the board. And uh, I thought it was a great opportunity. I didn't really know what would come of it. I just, you know, I've been trying to get into these organizations just for my own knowledge and growth as an engineer and as a structural engineer in particular. So the, um, I was excited when she asked me to do this. And I, you know, I said yes right away. And so at the uh, annual conference for the New Mexico um Structural Engineers Association, um, I was elected as secretary. So uh, that just means that I keep track of like meeting minutes in our board meetings and um, help with planning monthly meetings and, and finding presenters and things like that. And so um, we just had our first board meeting yesterday and uh, the vice president who is overall in control of the monthly member meetings, um, at, we were talking about, uh, you know, presentations. He hasn't lined up any. And so I was like, hey, man, do you? I have a couple of presentations that I'm willing to give if you're if you're open to receiving them. And he and he responded. He was like, "I've been seeing your posts on LinkedIn. Does it have anything to do with World Trade Center uh, destruction um, on 9/11?" I'm like, "That's exactly what I was talking about." And it's two, you know, 45 minute to 60 minute long presentations. And he's like, "Well, that would be perfect." And so um, the rest of the board was fully on board with hearing about it. So um, I'm excited to announce that I'll be I'll be making a presentation on World Trade Center Building Seven next Wednesday, which will be a virtual meeting held uh, via Zoom. And any New Mexico engineers that are part of the New Mexico uh, Structural Engineers Association are welcome to join and listen in. Uh, but you can also, as a non-member, join in uh, to the meeting as well. So uh, if you're interested about that, please find me, please reach out to me or Andy, and I can get him the details as well. But um, And then the following month in September, which will be the 21st anniversary of 9-11, I'll be making a presentation on the Twin Towers, uh, talking about the, you know, uh, the collapse theory that NIST put out and uh, some of the errors and omissions in that as well. So um, for the months of August and, and September, we'll be focusing on 9-11 on and, and uh, being able to present to structural engineers in New Mexico and any other people who want to join. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. I think it's a great um, opportunity for us to get the truth out to, to uh, my community as, as a structural engineer. I just think it's paramount that we know this type of stuff is going on in our government. They don't seem to want to respond to our inquiries or answer any questions that legitimately need to be answered. So, um, yeah, that's that's a summary of, of what happened and where we're going. So. Well, this is a great step forward for Project Due Diligence and AE 911 Truth. We want our supporters to know about it. So, folks, uh, if you want to find out more, as Seth said, you can contact us. Best way to do it is questions at ae911truth.org. Someone will get back to you here, probably me. And if you aren't signed up for our emails to get these kinds of news updates and these this, uh, exciting developments, then go to ae911truth.org and uh, hit subscribe. Just type your email in and you will get them. So uh, again, this has been an AE 9-11 Truth News update. Thank you, Seth, for coming on and telling us about it, and we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.